There's a lot of stories about people who've been injured by chelation therapy. Um, from, from my understanding, these, these stories are very rare. The one that's the sort of most famous is the unfortunate story of this young boy who died undergoing chelation therapy in Pennsylvania. Uh, what's really important to understand about this, this, this situation was this child was undergoing, from my understanding, a, a therapy using EDTA chelation given through an IV. And it wasn't so much that it was the medication that caused a problem, although it was the procedure that obviously brought on the issues. It was that they had mistakenly used the wrong type of EDTA, and they were actually infusing it very rapidly into this child's body. And what it caused was it caused a calcium imbalance and apparently led to a problem with his heart. So even though this child died undergoing chelation therapy, what it really turned out to be was really a, a, a mistake, an unfortunate event. Um, but from that story has sort of been these wide sweeping claims that heavy metal chelation therapy is outright this dangerous therapy. There was a report that came out a number of years ago in the Journal of the American Medical Association that showed that approximately 106,000 people die in this country every year from side effects to commonly and properly prescribed medications. That basically means they died of medication that was given for a specific condition, whether it was high blood pressure, a child given an antibiotic for an ear infection, somebody given a medication for high cholesterol, and they died because of a reaction, but it, the medication wasn't given in air, or it wasn't given, the, the, the dosage wasn't given in air, it was an, just a, an unfortunate reaction, 106,000 people.